Hey, welcome back folks. Tonight I'm talking about split toe derbies. This is one of my favorite shoes. I'm going to talk about the different apron types or stitching types and why any of it really matters. I got this illustration from Styleform, which is a really great way to kind of visualize what each of these are. Let's start with a few basics. You have machine sewn aprons and you have hand sewn aprons. You have a single pattern piece, like one piece of leather, or you have multiple pattern pieces, which would be two or three pieces of leather on the upper. Let's start with a few examples from Carmina. These are all one piece vamps or one pieces of leather in the pattern. So this means that the apron is strictly aesthetic, stylistic. It's not a functional stitch. It's not connecting multiple pieces of leather. This is a great video that I found from Carmina that actually shows this exact loafer, not this pair, but this exact style loafer being constructed. Moving into hand sewn, this is the epitome of hand sewn, the pie crust or split and lift apron. This is actually joining two or three pieces of leather, depending on if it's just an apron or if it's a split toe and an apron. Typically, this is only found in higher end shoes due to the skill and time it takes to execute. Here's a quick example to differentiate one from the other. This NST boot from Carmina is very smooth and almost round on the apron. That's because it's just a single piece of leather. Looking at the St. Crispins, you can see that there are two pieces of leather, two edges actually being joined by the hand sewn apron. So that is a very easy way to distinguish one from the other. Now I'm going to spend more time on the pie crust because it can look different really depending on the leather or the shoemaker. Calfskin is probably the most typical material you see in this, and it gives the classic pie crust look. Shell cordovan is a much more robust leather. It'll still be executed exactly the same, but because of the density of the leather, the end result is gonna be a little bit different. Suede is another material, even though it's basically just the reverse side of calfskin. Due to the nap and the fibrous nature of the hide, it's going to hide some of the stitch detail you would get in a smooth calfskin. This peccary loafer actually may have the most textured and detailed apron of them all, which, if for nothing else, is just a great example of why it's important to see the variants in real life or on YouTube. It's normal that different materials with different character are going to act differently. That's just part of how leather works. But this is a perfect transition into why does any of this really matter? Or does this matter? Yes, to the degree that I believe being an informed client is as important as the shoemaker. You should know what you want, know what to expect from the leather choice, and be able to make a reasonable conclusion that the choices made will result in exactly what you want. And if you choose a leather that produces a different result, understand if that's based on the characteristics or something else. Comment below what your favorite split toe style or model is. Also, who your favorite shoemaker is that makes a split toe derby. Hopefully this was helpful and entertaining. Even if only one out of two there, please give this video a thumbs up, a comment, because that's a huge help for me. Also, remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications. That will be a big help for you, because then you'll be first in line to find out about the next video. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.